Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing the recent mining nerf that was implemented into the game this week on February 3rd. So ever since the mining and smithing rework that was introduced last year, there have been a few issues regarding it. It has been a pretty great update overall, but they still are working out a few things and one of these main issues has been stone spirits and of course their value. So a lot of players, including myself, have been a bit upset with Stone Spirit drops on the boss loot tables. Before the rework, you used to get ores, which were somewhat valuable. But for a year now, they have been replaced with Stone Spirits, and basically all of them are virtually worthless. So to try and fix this ongoing issue, RuneScape has released the following update. So before this update was implemented, you would have dealt 80% damage to the rock you're mining when your stamina is at zero, and this makes AFK mining really easy and not even that much worse than active mining. So for this reason, it would be fair to say that most players are relatively AFK while they mine, but now after this update has been implemented and it is into the game right now, so the damage from mining with zero stamina will now be changed to 20%, which is a massive reduction. You can still restore your stamina by starting to mine the rock again, just by clicking on it, which is when you are actively mining. And for a lot of players who prefer to AFK mine, you can also consume a stone spirit while under the effects of a perfect juju mining potion. And this will actually replenish your stamina to full as well. So the purpose of this update was to increase the price of stone spirits by making them a useful option when AFK mining. Also in this update they have changed the Saren stones so now they have 2000 HP instead of 500 so the HP has increased a lot by these. Also mining them you will no longer consume stamina and they have readjusted the XP rates so that it is pretty much the same as before so this will be your option for afk mining now one thing about these sarin stones that was massively nerfed is the amount of corrupted ore you will be obtaining so since the hp from the rock did increase drastically you will actually be collecting less corrupted ore per hour which will result in less smithing xp per hour Speaking of smithing, there has also been a major change to smithing, more specifically disassembling smithing items into components for invention. Now when disassembling armor, it will take into account the cost of the bars to create the armor. So for example, a plate body which costs 5 bars to create will now give you 20 components when disassembling. So now you will be getting 4 components for each bar that you use to make the item. This will be especially useful for Iron Man, and here's a clip that I found on Reddit. So as you can see before the update, disassembling an Elder Rune plate body plus 5 gave you plus 3 cover parts, 4 plated parts, and 1 strong component, but now disassembling it after the update gives you 202 cover parts, 180 plated parts, 177 deflected parts, 47 strong components and 34 protective components. So as you can see, you do obtain much, much more from this after the update, which is really good um, since you are spending a lot of bars to actually make the Elder Room plate body plus five. Now let's discuss what these changes mean for RuneScape 3. So first of all, the mining changes are an obvious nerf to the skill. They are making AFK mining much, much worse than before. Rather than doing the 80% damage to a rock while AFK, you'll only deal 20%. Now, I do think that the 80% damage before the update was a bit too high. Even though we all like AFK methods, I think there should be more of an incentive for players who are actively mining. I'm thinking decreasing it to 20% might even be too much, maybe somewhere in the middle, but we will see how the update actually does go and how it is also received by the community. I do like that you will still have the option to AFK mine. You can either take your 20% um, which does really suck or you can also use the perfect juju mining potion and also the stone spirits to replenish your stamina after every rock that you do mine. So it will definitely make AFK mining much less profitable. You'll probably even lose money from doing this method from now on. Um, but at least it is there and the XP rates should still be the same or just a little bit worse. And it doesn't actually affect the XP that you are gaining 
from mining per se, if you are actively mining, you will be gaining the same XP. It only hurts AFK mining. I would also predict that this will increase the price of both stone spirits and ores. I think a lot less players will be AFK mining, which will obviously cause less ores to be sold on the Grand Exchange. And also, there will be a much higher demand for stone spirits. You can actually already see this. Stone spirits have already been increasing and the update has only been out for one day. So as you can see, basically all of them have been increasing quite a bit and a lot of them are selling for above what they are listed at right now. So definitely expect them to increase a lot more. I'm not sure how much they could even increase by twice or even triple the amount of what they are right now. It will be interesting to see what they do end up at because this update will definitely put them in a much higher demand. So overall, if you're someone who did a lot of AFK mining or mining in general, I would say this update is bad for you and it will cause less money to be made for mining as well as possibly lower XP rates. But for players who do a lot of high level PVM, Slayer and even bossing, I would say that this update will be really beneficial. Stone Spirits have been a problem on boss drop tables for a while now and now since they actually have a better use, I would expect their prices to increase drastically. It will be interesting to see just how much they do increase and I wouldn't be surprised to see them at least double but it, hopefully it will at least fix the issue with this reward being only worth a thousand GP for killing a boss. Anyway guys, that is basically it for this video. I would like to know what you guys think of this update in the comment down below. So let me know, comment your thoughts on this update if you like it, if you don't like it. And yeah, I am just genuinely curious to see what you guys think. Me personally, I don't mind it. I kind of do like it since the price of Stone Spirits will be increasing. It will help when I go do some bossing because a lot of bosses have those kind of drops. And I am really hoping that it at least does fix that problem. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.